got a chip just for Lake of the Woods. The garment's not going to be as good as this, this chip right here. Hey, I'll tell you what, the wind is definitely picked up and blowing into this point here. Got him. There you go. Nice wall. Nice, nice deal, huh? Tell you what. You know, why is it so, I mean, I know why, but why is gold always so dominant up here? Well, you know, we got stained water at yeah. Lake of the Woods. And that stained water, gold is just a good color. And they, they, they like it, it works. You know, gold sometimes combined with the oranges or chartreuses the or pinks. the white, it's pink. Yes. That's a great color. Definitely get the dead on that one for you. Oh, 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 Nelly, that, that's a nice fish. We're going to catch them, you know, jigging right over the side of the boat. Like yeah, it's about as easy as, yeah. as easy as it gets. We're in love with feet of water. An old shiver minnow. Keep her or let her go her? I'll let her go her. Right? Okay, yep. we'll do better, he says. The man says we'll do better. Ooh, that is a good one. Netter? Oh, nice fish, oh, just oh, like, that's a nice <laughs> fish for sure. Now you're basically staying pretty simple, just vertical jigging over the side I'm of the using, boat. Uh, frozen emerald shiners and yep. I'm jigging right over the side of the boat. No way am I going to put up with this. Another flipper? Oh, them are flippers, but I don't think the, flippers no, them are solid we're, fish, we're buddy. So many fish that you know. But I should say, Larry, you know, we uh, we're staying at a nice resort up here to the Northwest Tangle. There's about. Uh, 15 resorts up here at the Northwest Angle. Some of them are full service. They offer bar, restaurant. Some of them are self-service. We bring your own boat and uh, you know, all that jazz, you know? And uh, tell you what, whatever, uh, whichever we want to do it, every one of them has access to some really good guides who can put you on fish like this if you need a guide. But it's, uh, fish like this is pretty common up here. You know, Joel, I was gonna say, it's kind of like being in Canada, but we are, Canada's like, you know, a couple hundred yards away from us yeah, here, <laughs> right? Not too far away. Right. Another one? Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe. Ooh, come on, Joe. Oh, oh, yeah. That's another nice fish. I'll tell you again, it comes from like the atmosphere that we're in up here with all these islands, you know, just the resorts themselves. You know, it's just a very relaxing place to be. You know, and there's a lot of stress on people nowadays. Oh. And what a great place to come and relieve a lot of that stress. You know, that's what it's all about. If you want to live longer, come to Lake of the Woods. I'll tell you what, we're using frozen emerald shiners. You know, emerald shiners are a, a natural forage for walleyes in Lake of the Woods. And what they do is, people that, that get bait, they net them in the fall of the year when they run up the Rainy River typically. It's a real, one more thing to get more hookups when you're jigging for walleyes. Larry just missed wow. <laughs> Better fish, he, he just wailed on it. That's a nice one. Ooh, loving that right there. Slurpola. All these resorts that are up here, where do they get all their supplies from? Because a lot of them aren't connected to the mainland. So how do they get the supplies? Running into town every couple days? Or? Yeah, well, you know, I tell you, so we have a, we have about uh, a 15 resorts up at the Northwest Angle. We've got about half of them on the mainland, which is called Angle Inlet, Minnesota. Okay. We have other the other half on islands. And uh, yeah, you know, they have to go to the mainland. So they, they either drive the stuff across through Canada and drive it up, or in some cases, uh, charter boats will come up and, and bring it up that way, but it's more, most economical bringing it up through Canada. Now, the food trucks and things like that, they can pass through Canada, and then they meet them at uh, the mainland. It, it, every, everything you do when you're on an island or up here at the Northwest Angle is more difficult because of where you're located. See, it, the Northwest Angle is actually called an exclave. What an exclave is is where you have to pass through another country to get to your own. So you got to go through, you know, if you drive, you got to go 40 miles through Canada, and then you re-enter into the Northwest Angle. We came by a lake, so we stayed in Minnesota. But otherwise, you know, if you wanted to drive here, you'd have to come through Canada. I haven't really been to Canada in, in a few years, but you can't bring any live bait at all into Canada anymore. You can't bring any bait, period. So no bait. frozen, dead, alive, nothing. You know, a lot of people that come up here will fish Canada. So what they do is when they fish Ontario, if, if you boat over into Ontario waters and you're not gonna touch land, you're not gonna touch a dock, you're not gonna change good services, you don't need to be vaccinated. See, I didn't know that either. Nope. That's interesting. So okay. you don't you don't have to call in in the morning. Now, if you're going to go to Canada and you're going to touch land and, and that sort of thing, then you got to call the 888 CAN pass phone number, get permission from Canada Customs, 
you got to use the arrive pan app and do a trip report okay you have to uh, uh be vaccinated but if you're not going to touch land you can boat over into canada waters from from lake of the woods in minnesota fish all day ontario rules apply you gotta have an ontario fishing license right and you get that online obviously you get that online yep. right and then you you can you can boat right back into to the united states so what a lot of people do is you know we got some real nice resorts up at the northwest angle they'll stay here and uh some will slide into ontario muskies walleyes bass pike whatever they're gonna fish and then uh, come back at the end of the day real simple we're in minnesota and we we're amongst islands we're whacking walleyes like there's no tomorrow i mean there, there's incredible fishing right here you don't need to go anywhere now with that being said a lot of people just like that adventure they like to go out and uh, there's no boats around you. You know, we have 14,552 islands, 65,000 miles of shoreline. You know, the Northwest Angle, it's the northernmost point of the contiguous United States. So we actually have the buoy, just like Key West Florida has a southernmost buoy, we have the northernmost buoy. And uh, it's the northernmost point buoy for the contiguous United States. And really kind of a neat marker to mark this part of the world. And you know, one of the, uh, one of the locals up here who's, it's kind of funny when they go, uh, when he and his wife will fish it, they got a, they got to fish half the day. Yeah, and then they explore half the day because he likes to explore. She likes to fish, but they he created an app, and uh, this is called the Lake of the Woods Explorer app. So if you want to go and get this app, it's twenty bucks. But what you can do is you can go and and search out abandoned gold mines on the on, on Lake of the Woods, abandoned POW camps from World War II, interior waterfalls. That's um, interesting. Um, one beach called Cheerio Beach where all the little rocks are like Cheerios. I mean, there's so much to do in addition to fishing. So you're keeping keeping both sides happy. Well, you know, it's funny because when we talk about guides up here, you know, not everybody wants to go and catch 100 walleyes in a day. But for some people, if they go and catch 20, 30 walleyes. That's enough, huh? And, and, and you know what? Let's go just driving around looking at uh, some of the nice houses up here. Let's go driving around looking at islands and looking for bears and deer. And, and that, that's fun too, you know? That's the cool part about what we have going on here up at the Northwest Angle. You know, again, Joe, it's just, you know, life is always about new experiences. And if you haven't experienced the Northwest Angle, you definitely want to come and check it out. You and I, last winter, we came in, flew in. That was my first experience of the Angle. And I'm like, and I said to you last winter, I'm like, we are definitely coming up here in open water and fishing this. And it's amazing. It, it is amazing. Well, and I'll tell you the other thing too. They all say, you know what? People gravitate towards experiences. That's what they talk about when they get older, not things. And, and having an adventure like this, I mean, you'll never forget it. People bring their families up here, husband and wife trips. I mean, uh, it's just, it's really cool. Take that one. It's amazing, you know, again, these fish, how healthy they are. I can't imagine when you look at a, a population of, of walleyes, everything is so tremendous up here. Um, when you think of what it takes to feed all these fish. You know, to your point, you figure, what are these fish eating? My goodness, they're eating everything from emerald shiners to perch, to perch minnows, to crayfish, to um, different kind of uh, stuff hatching out of the mud. We saw a little bit of a bug hatch. A lot of bug hatches. Those yep. bug hatches, that's larvae coming out of the mud of the lake and then they, they get up to the surface and they become you know bugs but I mean there, there's so much food to eat in Lake of the Woods we, we mentioned we're kind of in a flats area and I think what's happening is this wind is pushing this bait up into this flats area and those wallers are going nuts this is definitely one of them days if you wanted to sit here you would have a hundred fish day oh a nice <laughs> fish another nice isn't one. that nice man they're all like this boy nice fish baby solid oh, the nice part too about being up on the angle like this is that it really the winds are blowing about 30 miles an hour now we got our limits of walleyes and now we're going to cast for bass musky and pike it's nice and calm in here and that's the nice part about there's always some place you can fish when you're up on the angle like this not take long i don't know what you got but you got something decent nice what is it Nice pike, good deal. It's right up on that rock, Joe. When you cast it, you were six inches from shore. Doing something different. Oh, oh I can't get it in. Oh, oh, oh. oh Jojo. <laughs> Woo! Nice smallmouth. Tell you what, Larry, there, there are so many smallmouth bass up here and nobody fishes up. I just I'm can't believe you. that. Hey, I'll tell you what, we kind of got a pattern going here. Joel had a real nice muskie on, we didn't get on camera, and he had another big fish on it. But we've noticed that every time we've gotten bit, it's been definitely 
anywhere there's any type of cattails or pencil weeds. So the water levels are extremely high. Yep. We've had a very cold spring, so the patterns are probably running very late. You know, the water temperature is still pretty cool. You don't really have, when we were talking to a couple of the guides at the resort, you don't really have a, as much weed growth like the cabbage is, like you would have for this time of year. So it's very sparse. So it really changes, you know, the conditions change where these fish are at. Woo, that's what we're looking for right there. Well, you know, multi-species. There you go. A little shaker. And that's exactly, whoop, there he goes. That's what we wanted right there. Perfect. Hey, Joel, what a difference in days. You know, yesterday was our first day we got up here to the angle, and uh, boy, that wind picked up. It was probably 30 to 40. The walleye fishing was absolutely incredible. You know, we, like we talked about, we probably could have stayed in that spot and caught 100 walleyes yeah. for sure. But today we're doing something different. You know, we're going to troll a little bit deeper water. We're trying to obviously find pike and maybe a muskie or a smallmouth. Um, and the fish, things are a little bit farther behind this year than they, they should be just because of the cold spring. So we're doing something different. We're staying out a little bit deeper, but we're trolling and we're covering a lot of water. We are, and you know, so far we uh, we just started. We picked up a pike right away. Yep. We're marking some fish on the graph, and uh, you know, it's it's important to change things up. You know, uh, yesterday we kind of said to ourselves, man, if we'd go focus shallow today, we'd be crazy. We hit a lot of shallow water, and those fish, they moved off the shallows. Now in two weeks, the shallows will be loaded with those pike and bass and muskies and things like that. But right now, a lot of those fish pulled out, and they're deeper water, and hence that's what we're doing. Right. A nice part about too about staying at a resort is that there's a lot of fishermen there. And we last night when we came in, we started talking to a lot of these guys that were walleye fishing, and they caught a lot of big pike. And a couple of guys had some giant muskies. But all the reports were, you know, anywhere from 10 to 25 feet of water is where they were accidentally catching these big pike and these muskies. So that's what we're trying to target today. But that's the cool part about really everybody was so friendly and was willing to share information you know there's so much water to fish you know they, they, w w without telling exactly where they fished you know you can get out and fish on your own up here yeah it's, it's darn easy i mean it's you know it's there's so much water to fish hey 65,000 miles of shoreline <laughs> i tell you we've uh, you, you couldn't fish it all in a lifetime joey you talk about massive schools of bait i just marked a big school and i felt that my crankbait wasn't vibrating anymore and that's uh, a lake shiner that's right? an emerald shiner emerald yeah. shiner right yesterday that was our our main thing that we were using frozen ones that uh, you had gotten but uh, it is again you would think about the amount of forage that it takes to feed all these fish in the system it's astronomical there's so much food for these fish to eat and yep. uh, hence uh, you got to figure they estimate that there's probably 10 million walleyes in lake of the woods 10, 10 million. million that that's an estimate of course yeah but there's freaking walleyes everywhere you know what it takes a lot of food to feed those fish it takes a lot of food that's what we're looking for right there, buddy. This might be a big bite. Oh, yeah. Not really line it. Yeah. That's tough. Woohoo, Joe. Just want to see her. Oh, I love Lake of the Woods. Oh, man, that's a big fish. This is a big fish. That's a big fish. Look at her rip that line, Larry. <laughs> Look at that. You want me to drop the ball out and chase her down? It's a big fish. Yeah, it's a big fish, man. That's what I'll we Tell you what. You know, when you, uh, when you come to Lake of the Woods, when they say you never know what you're gonna catch, it, it, truly, you can always, any time, hook into a giant. We just did it. And now, there's a lot of giants here. That's the, that's of every the whole species. deal. Right. This is a big fish that's here. That's a big fish. That is exactly what we wanted. Here he goes. Going back down. Yep. Oh, <laughs> maybe we should have went back and got the net instead of being so excited about getting out here fishing again. It's a size. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is a giant char. They're just absolutely beasts. Oh, holy gator. Hey, Joe, I'll tell you what. That's what our goal was for today is to catch a giant pike. And I'll tell you something. That is about as big as they get. Let's get her back in the water. Yep. And, uh, I mean, that fish is 20 pounds. Well, that's over 20. Yeah, that's, sure that's over 20. That's I think a, it is. It's pretty dang heavy. Whew. One of the many reasons you come to Lake of the Woods. You baby. ain't kidding about that. Let's get her back in the water, get her revived, right. and get her, get her going. Okay.
Hey everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Let's talk a little bit about crankbaits. You know, I'll tell you something, um, a couple of things. First off, Larry, when you got two people in a boat or more, or you can use two lines, obviously start out with different cranks. Get those fish dialed in. And when I say dialed in, I'm talking color, I'm talking wobble, I'm talking shape of the crank, I'm talking how fast you're going. And one of the things we even noticed is that you know when, when you're pulling cranks, don't always go in a straight line. Don't be afraid to turn. One line will be speeding up and, and rising, and the other line will be kind of slowing down a little bit. And also, where in the water column those fish are? Do you want to be bumping bottom or do you want to be up above them a little bit, make them chase? There is yeah. a lot of current, yeah. And in fact, we noticed when we were going with the current, we were going at about two, three, two, four. I turned around, same throttle, went against it. We we're going one, seven, one, eight. So there's definitely some current playing in here. Excellent. Hey, everybody, again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest turkey on the planet. Big walleye. Woohoo! Yeah! Lake in the woods, baby! Uh, there you go, baby. <laughs> nice, the Northwest Angle, you know, or Lake of the Woods in general. It is just a fishery that if you have never experienced it, you definitely have to come and experience it because the opportunities to catch a lot of fish, catch big fish, whatever species you're looking for, is definitely here. I like to find areas and places where you can get away from other people. You know, sometimes it's fun to fish in the crowds and chit chat back and forth with the people. But you know, to come and be able to do your own thing is just, it's as cool as it gets. Oh, oh yeah, nice pike, yeah. Hey, no, boy, he came right out of the water. Whoa, not happy with you, Joel. There you go. In the net. What a great pike right there. It's amazing, you know. Tell you what, that's a nice fish. That's number two for the day, number two good ones. Look at the size of that back on that fish. That, I mean, they're good all, fish. like I said earlier, everything in this system is just so healthy. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate, it's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Chef Josh here, Mabel Meeting Place. Today we are doing seared salmon on our Leroy's lunch. This will be available on our upcoming menu. And this is some fresh salmon that I caught on Lake Michigan in Port Washington, Wisconsin. So we get our pan nice and hot, salt and pepper on the salmon, a little bit of oil. And this is so quick, so easy. And you could cook your salmon all the way through, medium rare, medium. I like mine, medium rare. So it's a quick, easy a dinner for me. The salmon starts to turn like a whitish color on the outside or, or more of a, a lighter pink. And that's when I know I'm getting a nice caramelization on the bottom. And then I'll flip it. So when I flip it, you get a nice sear mark. It turns golden. And that is when I hit it with some fresh garlic. Squeeze the lemon. And some white wine. And we'll add some butter. And as soon as the butter melts, we're good to go. Top it with some lemon dill creme. Seared salmon, lemon dill cream. Done to perfection. So good. We've had so many nice fish. Nice job, Joel. Nice fish. I'm gonna tell you what, another, uh, another quality fish here. We're just, uh, I'm gonna tell you now, we're on top of some structure and uh, those fish are up here. We're trolling, we're getting nice pike, we're getting nice walleyes, and this is bonus. We already have our limit of walleyes. We've already gotten a, a mid, mid 40s pike today. We've gotten a, another one that was probably a 10, 12 pounder. I mean, just a really, really nice day of fishing up on Lake of the Woods, and uh, we're gonna get this fish back. Holy man, I got a good one too, Joe. I got one too. It's just, this is like something, I'm telling you. Holy man. <laughs> no. We're trying to make it back to the South Shore. We can't do it. Mine, oh, mine, mine's a good one. I'm not, I'm not gonna argue with that sucker right there. Look at that, everybody. Oh, look at that, everybody. You know what? 
You want to catch awesome walleyes and have a great experience in an awesome environment, definitely check out Lake of the Woods. Look at when you had fish, you pulled that fish up. You know what that is, Larry? What? There's a crayfish. Oh. Eating crayfish in the rocks. Look at that. Jeez. I wonder they're stacked up in here feeding. Hey everybody, what an amazing two days we had up here at the Northwest Angle. Joe, I mean, I guess obviously people are seeing the watch the show. They saw the giant pike you caught. They saw the numbers of walleys, the quality walleys. You know, we caught a couple smallmouth. You know, just every spot we went to was really good. Quick. So today we come out and said, all right, we got all the walleyes we want. That's kind of a done deal. Let's go multi-species. So what we decided to do is we knew an area where the shiners were spawning. We knew that there were smaller walleyes in there. So we targeted that area for trolling. And, and what it, happened? And it was, you caught that pike that was anywhere from, we didn't measure it, you guys, but 42 to 44 inches. It's yeah, absolutely good. giant. Caught several other pike. We caught a bazillion walleyes. Yep. I mean, the walleyes were like left and right. Bring in your family, bring in your friends, you know, Bring in whoever you want and do you enjoy spending time with, you want to definitely check out the Northwest Angle. Yeah, Lake of the Woods is just a, really a strong fishery right now, folks. And if you want to find out more about either staying or fishing or jumping on a charter boat or going to the Northwest Angle, check out our website. And that is lakeofthewoodsmn.com. Hey, everybody, like we do every week, we want to thank all of our military men and women for the great service they have given this country and continue to give this country. Also want to thank all of our paramedics, our firefighters, and no doubt all of our law enforcement agents for the great service they also give this country. No doubt it is a great day to be alive, and the best part is we will see everybody again next week. Yeah, let them go. I'm going to get my, where's my rod? I want to get back into my turn. Everything is so tremendous up here, abundant, a plentiful, I mean.